What's going on, brothers and sisters? What's going on with y'all? Uh, what's going on? Thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Thank y'all for tuning in. Hopefully y'all having a great day, great, wonderful day. Uh, greetings to you all. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for tuning in. Grace, peace, and many blessings to you all. Uh, shalom to uh, uh, all everyone, all the brothers and sisters who believe in Christ. Uh, grace, peace, and many blessings to all brothers and sisters who believe in Christ as our Savior. And so uh, I'm going to have an open discussion um, based on um, a position. Um, and so um, and I'm going to uh, deal, just address the position um, and why am I even having this discussion. Um, and so um, I'm going to give brothers and sisters time enough to tune in. Hey, what's going on, Pastor Cedric, uh, uh, Bishop Cedric Penn? What's going on, man? Uh, blessings to you, man of, man of God. Blessings to you. Um, and so I'm gonna give brothers and sisters an opportunity to tune in here and, uh, jump in, um, here and, and, uh, before I kind of get into this, uh, I'm going to be before you long, I have some things I have to do today. Uh, and so I want to uh, just kind of talk about it, uh, briefly. Um, Hey, what's going on? My brother, uh, Ralph Sinclair, uh, grace to you, man. Grace to you. Um, so I can address this uh, situation uh, in conversation um, that I think is uh, needed to be had. I kind of uh, kind of kept away from the conversation, but uh, I'm going to speak on it here in uh, here in a few. Um, give brothers and sisters the opportunity to jump in. Uh, so I don't do a lot of double talking. Hey, Paul Parker. Hey, man, do you have the same number? Uh, I, th I thought I texted you one day and um and I didn't get a response. Congratulations on the on the on the newborn as well, man. Uh, and whatnot. Uh, Watchers King, what's going on, man? Blessings to you uh, as well. Uh, so give brother and sister a chance to get in here. I'm going to be on here maybe uh, maybe 15 minutes, uh, just kind of discuss and talk about something. Uh, really quick that I think it's important, um, especially uh, those who are um, within the Hebrew community and not only that, just for our uh, entire congregation uh, at Boom, uh, Atlanta and Jacksonville. And so um, just going to have just kind of a brief discussion uh, about this. Um, and so I'm going to start here in like five minutes. Um, if not five minutes, but in like two minutes. Hey, Shalom, Sister Anna. What's going on? What's going on? Boom, Jacksonville. Hey, Shalom, Destiny. How you doing, sister? Thank you for tuning in. Like the flows. Like them flows, Destiny. Definitely like the flow. I heard, I heard your uh, Bodak, uh, I think it's Bodak Yellow uh, remix uh, on the timeline. Uh, blessings to you, so... All right. Hey, Sister Juanita, thanks for tuning in. Sister Laquanda, hey, Sister Patricia, bless you, Sister, down there in Selma, Alabama, my uh, Hebrew Selma, Alabama family down there. Uh, blessings to you all. Uh, listen, I'm going to go ahead and get into this uh, really quick uh, conversation um, as you see the subject matter. Uh, is regarding feast days uh, and calendars. Uh, and whatnot, and why Boom Church operates the way they operate. Um, and this is for uh, solely for the Hebrew community um, um, and whatnot. And so, okay, okay, Brother Paul Parker, I'm glad you you got that. I just was wondering if, if your number had changed because I didn't get a response, but blessings to you, man. Glad your number is the same. Now I can text you still. I can text you some more. Um, um, I was I, I wanted to I wanted to kind of I was thinking about uh, having a conversation and dialogue about this uh, about three to four, almost a month ago um, because I just saw some things uh, on the timeline uh, I saw some things heard some things within the Hebrew community uh, and things of that nature and so 
Um, I kind of brush it off. A lot of times I, I just kind of brush off stuff, um, you know, when, you know, unless it's just, just continuously come up. Uh, and, you know, I kind of, um, I've kind of um, been, been following, you know, the spirit and I hadn't gotten anything wrong so far uh, by following. Uh, and, and a lot of times I don't want to respond um, because we all, there is a carnal side of us. Uh, in in which we can respond to something or we can view something uh, in text form and you know through Facebook or someone sending you a personal text and you never really get a chance to feel the um, the the intent of it by text until you talk to someone. Uh, but there are several on Facebook that um, it doesn't take a uh, conversation. Uh, with them to understand the intent of what they're trying to say um, and their words and how they put it uh, doesn't leave room for a great area for you to, to say, hey, let me speak with this individual to, or individuals uh, to make sure that uh, what they're saying is I'm not misinterpreting, but the way they present it uh, leaves no room for you to misinterpret it. It is what it is. Um, and so I kind of brush it off, but then on uh, yesterday, uh, one of the brothers uh, I talked to who I love and respect, um, um, I respect his, his intellect, I, I, his spirit. He's a great spirited uh, brother, uh, a part of our congregation. And so I was speaking to him and he asked a question. Um, and the question was, was regarding, um, you know, feast and stuff like that and calendars and things of that nature. And so um, he asked me had I addressed it or had the conversation publicly um, regarding it because, you know, as boom continues to grow and people are coming and things of that nature. Um, and he wanted to just kind of, you know, because he we had never had that conversation before. Um, and so I'm, I'm the type of uh, leader, I'm a, I'm a pastor, just approachable, you know, and and I don't take offense to many things. Um, it takes a lot to um, get me to the point to addressing um, certain issues. Um, some things I just brush off and I kind of let, okay, let the, let the Lord kind of handle that uh, in the time in which he handles it. But, um, but once it continues to come up, there are things as leaders that you have to address so there'd be no confusion or anything of that nature or just to uh, set things in motion uh, or sometimes you have to address things to just so people know you ain't no punk, you know, just and, and as a leader, it's, it's crazy to say that, but that's true. You know, you have to really um, address certain issues because sometimes people can find a way to say things in disrespecting um, in, in certain ways. And those ways of disrespect, when you don't respond, sometimes can lead to a uh, assumption that. Um, they can you're a pushover or they or you know you your your compassion can be also uh misconstrued uh as a weakness and so um but the brother it, it, it wasn't that type of conversation with me and him i mean he's a great brother you know um and so i thought about it over the, you know the night and I, I was meaning to just i wanted to touch on it about a month ago i didn't say anything about it you know what it comes down to these feasts come around and things of that nature um and so um, I said, okay, you know, he brought it up and he asked the question, you know, have I addressed this publicly, uh, or, you know, kind of put it out there publicly. And I said, well, no, I haven't. I didn't, you know, I, I wasn't going to do it. I thought about it, but, but last night after just, you know, thinking about it, um, and whatnot and coming to the thing, said, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to say something about this, um. Let's get one thing understood here when it comes down to feast days and calendars, okay? There are one zillion different calendars, okay, in which Hebrews follow. No one person, and let me make this very clear to you, no one person has the key to the totality of what calendar is right, okay? Let's be very thoroughly in this understanding, okay? There are so many different calendars and when someone does something. Now, when it comes to the month, uh, that, that 
understanding shrinks to uh, generally um, within the Hebrew community, generally the brothers uh, or assemblies within the Hebrew community, they generally do it around the same month or in the same month. But you may see different days, days or dates in which they do it. Um, and this is outside of um, occupation. This is outside of if someone has to work or or whatever type of situation within the land in which we live. But these are solely based off their own study of what convictions that they have when it comes down to what dates or weeks or whatnot that they decide to do it on. OK, there are even those who are within the same uh community um, umbrella or whatnot that they may have one one week and another the other week and they're within the same community and it can be based off situation okay all of us have an understanding and all of us would declare this publicly that we all Know that we're not in our land, in our own land. We're in other land, in another land. Why is that so key and important? Because if you're in your land and the people who are in authority in that those lands, the people who are, in, are head of the governments in those lands, everybody will be on the same page when it comes down to what days they're going to have their feast, what days they're going to have. Uh, these things, if they're going to decide to say, OK, well, September, uh, the week of September, the, the 11th is going to be the Feast of Trumpets, then the even the employer, because the employer would adhere to the laws of that land or the uh, religious system of that land when it comes down to feast, even they themselves um, would know that, okay, this week, everyone is off. No one works this week because everyone will be honoring the feast of that week. But when you are in a land that does not adhere to or honor or acknowledge uh, biblical feast days, okay, when, you, when they don't acknowledge that, and you have to as well, okay, you have to as well, all right, um, then there's a, a, a pool and there's a there's a tuck there, okay? There's a, a war and a battle there, okay? And so the thing is, is that the way we function, okay? And I cannot, me personally, I cannot say what someone does within their own family structure. At the end of the day, we all have an obligation personally within our families to work on our own self or whatever, because everybody's not going to, even within their same uh, assembly, not going to be able to believe the same thing when it comes down to the calendar or whatnot. And so um, you can have individuals within the community that says, I'm going to do the feast on this particular day. With my family, someone else may say, well, based off my study and my conviction, this is the day I'm going to do it on this day within there. But ultimately, you should, if that's your place of conviction or that's from your study, have the have your feast on whatever day you have it with your family. But at the same time, we should all be able to come to a a a a uh, unified place where we should gather in a convocation together as a community in honor okay there is no confusion in honor okay there may be confusion in days days times because now even the sabbath is coming to scrutiny as an argument of debate if it's 24 hours, if it's 12 hours, whatever, it's all, there's going to be a debate about something. But with honor, there is no debate when it comes down to honor. When you say, listen, we're going to come together in honor of this. My thing is, okay, if we're 
arguing and nobody can come on the same page. I'm not, and I don't want to say arguing, but it does turn to arguing. If we can't come on, if we can't come to a general consensus, okay, together, based off of what day we're going to do it on, at least we can say, hey, look, on this particular day, on a Sabbath or whatever day you want to, it doesn't have to be on a Sabbath day. But if it, whatever day it is, we're going to do this in honor of the father. OK, the father knows the intent of your heart. One, two, the father knows that you're not on the in, you're not in your land and you're not on the ca original calendar that your four ancestors was on. OK. All right. So the thing is, you have to come to a consensus to say, are we going to come together and do this in honor of the father because we love him? Or do we sit back and say, you do it on this day, you do it on that day, and everybody within the community is doing it on different days? That's going to pretty much be confusion, okay? It's going to be confusion, all right? It's going to be confusion, and it's going to be a divide. And Hasatan will use that as a form. So henceforth, this is the reason why I do what I do at Boom. This is the reason why the, 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 the feast days in which we do it, and I even got into occupation, is because nobody, including myself, can say that this is the correct calendar day. You can assume some people go by the... Um, the Khazarian calendar. Some go by the Jewish calendar. Okay? But guess what? You can find flaws in that. Because even the Khazarian calendar adds another month, adds a 13 month to make sure that Passover still falls in the spring. The Bible never tells us to add a 13th month, which we call, they call leap year or whatnot. The Bible never talks or tells us to do that. So you can still find flaws and faults, even that many people talk against the Gregorian calendar, but you can also find that the Gregorian, the Gregorian calendar does have some form of significance of lining up. I'm not saying it's perfect with, with, uh, with some of the days when you start talking about when dealing with Exodus and these biblical days and things of that nature, but it does have some form of uh, closeness. We can all find closeness and relations to certain things when it comes to feast days and whatever calendar you want to use, but no one can present or bring to the table that this is the perfect feast day. Henceforth, the reason why everybody has their own different days in which they do it. So at the end of the day, we have to really understand something because I wasn't, again, I wasn't going to even address this. I have anything to say about it. All right. Because I had a thorough understanding that everyone in the community understood that. But when my brother called me yesterday and when I, we had a great conversation, he said, listen, you know, have, you know, have you brought this up publicly, you know, and which was something that I thought about doing a month ago because of some disagreements that I saw on Facebook, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to deal with it. But when I talked to him yesterday, we had an awesome conversation, awesome conversation. We had ideas. We were floating around that will bring a, 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 and I don't want to say a great compromise because everybody does at some point compromise. It just depends on if it's a, you know, if it's a, a, a good compromise or a bad one. But when we talked on the phone, um, I shared with him because we never had the discussion before about the feast day or the calendar. We kind of like threw it out there or whatever. But yesterday we had a great conversation. He heard my heart. I heard his. And both of us left the situation in agreement but I feel as though the father did have him to call, uh, want to talk to me so that I can address it publicly because I was going to do it about a month ago. I was like, nah, I'm not going to do it. And he sparked it up. I think I really believe that the father used him to spark it up for me to address this so that people do know because there's there, my family within itself. We, whatever, whatever calendar we go by, we honor the most high on that day. But then also I understand that the father loves a holy convocation. 
that he uh, that he loves seeing his people get together. So I say, okay, now let me bring in um, occupation. I just dealt with the calendar and all that other stuff. Now let's bring in occupation. There are people, who, their jobs, their jobs don't make room for that. Their jobs just don't make room. Now this is the practical conversation that we have to have in Israel. Because we always spiritualize everything, but yet there are practical elements to this life, to this world. There are practical elements in which we still have to use wisdom within the earth to make sure of things. It's not a compromise. It's just practical wisdom. Okay? There are some people occupation. There's some people who just started a job. Some people within our congregation that they do have uh, their own probation uh, pretty much. There are other people that don't have the uh, the uh, PPT or or, or 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 holidays or or time that they can use that they can put in. Some people um, they they're the only breadwinners in their in their homes. Some people only some people job only makes room for them to work in the evening shift. Um, and maybe the mother, maybe the wife works the day shift so that way they can make sure that the kids get picked up. Uh, make sure of all these different things. And so some people don't have the flexibility on their jobs and their occupation, okay, to basically give a thorough understanding, um, to basically be able to, to be, able, be able to deal with these things. So this is the thing. This is why healthy dialogue within the community is great because if one person feels as though, well, I'm trying to make sure my family stay on this particular calendar, but if we're doing it on this particular day, um, I don't want to confuse them. That is totally understandable. And so if that person convictions don't allow them to come to a feast day on a Sabbath because they are setting up a tone in their home on this particular day and they don't show up or come to that feast day, then it has to be understood within the community that this is the reason why. And no one in the community should look at that person differently. And shouldn't treat them differently. But if the masses are doing it, doing it on this day, because this is what makes room for the honoring of the heavenly father, even though that the father knows that we're not in our land and we have all these different challenges or whatnot. Okay. That we should be able to still find a commonality in being able to address the situation and make sure that the community stays healthy and the person that or the people that don't show up, if it's 50 people and 10 decide they're not coming, they don't show up because this is the reason why based off this and the other uh, 30 do, the 10 shouldn't look at the other 30 any different just like the 30 shouldn't look at the other 10 any different because we all have to respect each other's convictions in that right. All right. And at the end of the day, is this a salvation issue? This is the question again. It comes right back to the table because everybody's going to have differences of opinions or different views based on what they study. Nobody, you can't find one Hebrew. All right. You can't find one Hebrew that will tell you this is the perfect calendar. And at the end of the day, thank the most high that people are even doing it. This is what it, this is what it boils down to. At the end of the day, when there's a disagreement about something, okay, and it's a non-salvation issue, and we come to the table and we look at this and say, hey, at least they doing it. You got folks out here that ain't even trying to do it. They're not even trying to honor the most high in anything that he's done for them when it comes down, because we know that the feasts are based on, it's the same way as you have a pastor's appreciation for the pastor, a uh, a certain type of day, but we choose our appreciation day for the Heavenly Father and for what he's done for us. We choose to honor him in this way. We just don't call it Pastor's Appreciation Day. It's a title based off the feast. So when you study the feast, you look at it, it's based off an honor to him. If we can't get the, if we can't get the calendars down, at least we honor in him. 
But the problem is, is this. We have people, you have people, you're going to always have those type of people that sometimes knowledge can puff up and make arrogant. And then the thing is, is that, and let me say this. This is the rare time that I will actually sit up here and, 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 and talk about um, myself. Okay. I don't, I generally don't do that. I generally don't do that at all. I try to stay away from that. Okay. But in this particular conversation, I consider myself a well-studied brother. I do nothing. I put nothing out there without making sure that I thoroughly research and do my due diligence. If I do something in our congregation at Boom, and I'm speaking on Boom because it falls on my shoulder, I just don't do nothing haphazardly. And I just don't do nothing because of the fact that I haven't researched. Just because I haven't talked about it or put it out there. There's a whole lot of things that I that I choose not to even get into, involved in, because I know when Christ come back, he's going to set everything back in place anyway. That's why I don't argue with y'all about the name. I'm not just doing it to do it because you can't find one Hebrew that agrees on the name. You can't. So, so this, at the end of the day, here's another issue. You can't find one Hebrew that agrees on the name. Henceforth, you got everybody calling him a different name. You can't find one Hebrew that agrees on the calendar. Henceforth, why everybody doing it on a different day. Now the Sabbath is coming into question. So guess what? It's going to take Christ coming back, setting everything in place in order, because leave it up to y'all, it ain't going to be right. Leave it up to y'all, it's not going to be right. And we have the nerve to point fingers at other brothers and sisters within the Hebrew community about what calendar they're not doing and what they're not on and all this other stuff. Like your calendar is the right calendar or like your understanding is the right, correct understanding and it's the final understanding. No, it's not. We all have these issues going on. Don't nobody want to talk about it. I told y'all. And, and this is the reason why I don't like to address these type of things. Because nobody wants to talk about the flaws that we have in the Hebrew community. We want to paint everybody else as having the flaws. But we don't want to talk about the flaws that we have in the Hebrew community when it comes to certain understandings. This is the reason why the Most High is like, you know what? Nah, y'all keep it on. I'll, I'll just raise up some more folks. I'll just raise up some more folks to make sure that they do what I'm trying to have them do. We we'll all agree we're not in the land and we know the, for the fact, the simple fact that it's going to take Christ to come back and set everything in motion. Henceforth, the reason when we get into the kingdom, everybody going to serve him with one name. It ain't going to be no arguing over the names. It ain't going to be no arguing over what day is, what day and what calendar is, what calendar and all this other stuff. It ain't going to be no arguing over that. Everything will be set in motion as it originally intended to be. But leave it up to man. You're always going to have an argument. You're going to always have chaos. You're going to always have confusion. Every single time. We're not appreciative that people at least honoring the feast day. We want to drop bombs on them because they're not doing it on the date that, they, that we're doing it on. Like we got it together. Like we done arrived just because we got some form of knowledge. Or some form of information. You ain't arrived. Neither have I. I'm still growing in revelation. I'll admit it to you. I don't know everything. I know what I know at this state, in this age, at this state in my spiritual walk. But guess what? There are things that I believed five, 10 years ago that I no longer believe today because I, I, because I kept myself open that the Father will reveal to me the truth. And it's a constant growing of revelation. I used to believe that the white man was the devil. I used to believe that there was no salvation for nobody but Israel. But guess what? I never got caught in the trap to where I had it all. And guess what? At the time came, revelation came, the spirit began to deal with me, began to show me different things, and I no longer hold that belief. I no longer hold that doctrine. I no longer hold that. Now I believe all men can be, I believe all he, any Hebrew can go to hell, just like I believe that any non-Hebrew can get in the kingdom. 
But before, I didn't believe that. But y'all didn't get a chance to experience that because there was no Facebook. There was no live videos and all that other stuff. And plus, I didn't start teaching until I went through my full process. I went through my full process. And again, I'm telling y'all now, if we keep going this route, if you keep going the route like you made it and you got it all and you know everything, you're not going to be used. You're not going to be used to the fullness in which the father will use you. Because in these last days, he's not looking for know-it-alls. He's looking for willful people. He's looking for willful people. He's not looking for perfect people. He's looking for those who are willful and their hearts are open. Not people who are trying to point out much how much they know. He will show the world if you know something. He will show the world if he's using you. You don't have to tell people. He's going to open the doors and the, it's going to be manifested. I know that there are people who watch on Facebook. And wondering, okay, you know, I'm just watching the brother. I'm trying to see if he's going to change. I'm not going to change. Especially not from the position of the doctrine, which I believe. Is he going to change? Is this consistent? People who watch it, you can watch for years. I'm not going to change in this regard when it comes down to the way I live. But I will say this. There are things in Revelation that I, that I, that I once believed that I no longer believe in this present day. Because of the fact that there was a revelation that came and we're all growing. We're all growing in revelation. We only know in part and we'll never know everything until we get in glorified bodies. That's why it takes to identify things by the spirit, to know who's who by the spirit, not who's who by scholarship and education. Because everybody got flaws in their teachings, in their understanding, in their doubt. This is why I take the Holy Spirit to teach you, to reveal to you, not just teach you without a teacher, but make sure the teacher that you have, make sure they got the Holy Spirit or the Ruach HaKadosh in them. Don't just follow them intellectually, but you make sure you watch their, their walk and watch their life to determine whether or not if this is the person that Yah is with. Because at the end of the day, Hasatan know Bible. Hasatan know history. Hasatan know all these things. But Hasatan don't have a Holy Spirit. And that's the difference when it comes down to at the end of the day. Is Yah with this particular individual or not? Watch they walk. Okay. So my brothers and sisters, man, I just want to reach out to y'all. I thank my brother for calling me yesterday because, again, I would have just let it breeze over. I wouldn't even addressed it. I wouldn't have said nothing about it. I wouldn't have dealt with it at all, probably, maybe later on down the road or whatever. But I think this is the perfect time right now. And especially within our assembly and our community so that people will know and people don't feel bad because of, you know, they may not show up at this feast because of this particular day or whatever. I have no issue with that at all. As a leader, I have no issue with that at all. And if anybody asks me, it's my obligation as a leader and the pastor of the church to make sure that it's articulated correctly and properly. The reason why somebody is not here during this particular time or this particular calendar day or whatever. But I think that our community is, is very healthy. Our community is very spirit filled to know that if that it, it, it won't be an issue. So henceforth, and they know my heart, okay? The community know my heart. They know where I stand on a lot of things. And that's what makes the, the community boom so unique because it's about commonalities and our differences and majority of our difference, pretty much all of our differences at boom is non-salvation issues, okay? I, I mean, it's not, I mean, I, we, don't de we don't get into non-salvation issues, okay? We don't argue and debate over that type of stuff. Anything that's a salvation issue, we bring to the table. If there's a concern about something, we're open to bring to the table because our community is open, floor is open. I have an open door policy, all right? I have an open door policy as well. Brothers and sisters are comfortable enough to come to me about a concern or something to have dialogue and conversation and get my view and perspective on things to where that's what make our community very healthy. And the way we operate in our community makes our community very healthy and it makes it very, it allows room for the spirit to adjust and move and bring clarity and conviction and balance within the God community. Okay. So our community may not be like someone else's community. Some things that, that other communities are dogmatic about, boom is not dogmatic in that regard. 
when it comes down to certain communities in which we in, in, in our community. OK, we make sure that we have a healthy balance, but we also make sure that our community is open to where we can have dialogue and conversation. And if there's disagreement, we have a, an ability to be able to be resolved in certain areas um, and follow biblical principles in dealing with um, things that are are are, um, are um, 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 that brothers may have an offense or sister may have an offense. And to be honest with you, this is the thing. In our community, when we address something, it's not from an offense perspective. It's from, okay, I just need some clarity on this. And that's what I love about um, our community. And that's what I love about things. And so I try my best. I'm not perfect. I'm striving towards perfection. I have, still have issues as well. As long as I'm in this flesh, okay, I still have issues just like everybody else. But my issue may not be your issue. Your issue may not be my issue. Okay? But that's why we're purging every day. Um, to make sure that we walk like him every single day. But I'm not going to allow um, this type of situation to cause us to not fellowship or not uh, honor the most high. Um, so I just want to address that. And um, again, I thank my brother for calling me yesterday uh, and us having a dialogue and conversation about those, about these things and a clear understanding. And I just, I just thank the father for, uh, bringing it back to my remembrance and using him to come to me, bring so I can address it publicly because I haven't talked about this publicly um, and I didn't feel the need to at the time. But and this is a, and let me say this. Even our brothers who are in Africa and in Nigeria and Ghana, they don't even have the same calendar. But guess what? They aren't arguing, disputing about this stuff. Not the way we do over here in America. They they don't walk around like they know it all. When I talk to our brothers in Ghana and Nigeria, they excited and happy and appreciative that our brothers and sisters are even, are even honoring the father with the feast days. They don't even have the same calendar. But the brothers and sisters over here, we trying to find another way to prove something that we got it so we can grow congregations. Yeah, I said it. That's what we do. Come over here. Come out. We 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 got it over here. We got all the information and the knowledge over here. Come over here. We got it. We we got all the knowledge. They don't know nothing over there. We got all the truth over here. All this kind of stuff. But over there in, in Nigeria and Ghana and over in, in, in Africa, they're not they're not beefing about half this stuff that we beef about over here in America. We we actually took on a a, a same mindset of of of, of arrogance. In so many ways, when it comes down to certain things, we have a level of pride and arrogance. You talk to Rabbi Quayte, you talk to Elder Cletus, them brothers, them brothers are excited and happy. They're not, they not inboxing me or I'm inboxing them about, hey, brother, you ain't on the right calendar and all this kind of stuff. They ain't doing that. They are excited and ecstatic. Their brothers and sisters or even honoring the most high on the feast. They just excited about it. But we frowning at a brother or a sister because they not doing it on the day we doing it on. This stuff is crazy, man. This stuff is crazy. So I'm going to get off of here, man. I just want to address this. Come on. How comes it? The reason why Boom operates and functions the way they operate. Everybody within our congregation, all right, they can do it individually, but at the same time, we're going to come together as a, as a community and show our honor to the Father. Everybody can do theirs on. I have no problem with a brother or sister if they want to do it on a Tuesday and somebody want to do it on a Wednesday. But this day right here based off of every, this ain't based off majors. Okay. Our community is a community. This based off of the community and their consensus and what functions well in their community I mean in their individual homes okay this what work and we can all come to a commonality on this particular day and say listen and I encourage them hey if you want to if you still if you have a day that you have to do it individually within your own home so at least that that that's met but based off the community Here's the day that worked for the community in honoring the father. And that's what that's the way it works with our community. 
Somebody else's community may not work that way. And I'm not trying to superimpose our way of doing things in our community on someone else. I'm just happy y'all honor it. I have to be perfectly honest with you. I am so excited and happy that y'all are at least honoring the father on whatever feast day it is. I'm just happy about that. Because before we couldn't get folks to honor nothing. And now that people are finally deciding to honor the father, hey man, I'm excited. Oh, and you don't know what? You know, last year uh, we had Passover. Two weeks later, after our Passover, Rebirth had their Passover. I wish I could have made it, but I was in uh, in L.A. with with our brother uh, Ugo at his at, at his ceremony. But I would have been there too, and I would have been happy singing Shema Israel. Yeah, I would have been I would have been up there singing with him, and wouldn't have been talking about what date they have it on because they had it two weeks after we had ours. I was just excited that they had it, and so you know what. I talked to Mo, uh, Morris and I say, listen, we got to stop this. People are people are inboxing me. People are tired of going to 10 different feast days. And Morris agreed. Morris said, I agree because people inboxing him too. They tired of going there 50 million feast days because everybody got a different day. And I say, Morris, whatever day y'all set, Boom going to be there. Now, I can't, I can't say everybody from Boom coming, but I will say the majority of the people from Boom, we there. We there. I don't care what date y'all having it on. I'm honoring the most high on whatever date that is. And we're going to have a big, we're going to have boom and rebirth. Boom was packed last year. Rebirth was even packed. And both of us coming together and other people coming together, it's going to be even bigger. So we go, y'all, you want to stay home? Go ahead and stay home. We're going to love you and everything. No problem. But we having one day. One day with the feast days. All right. So I just want to let y'all know what it is, man. Love all of y'all with the love of Christ, man. I just want to come over here and come on here and talk about this situation um, and make sure. Oh, yeah. I've got my breath. Spiritual, com Spiritual combat slash boom church. All right. Spiritual combat slash boom church. But we all there. And I think to be honest with you, I think the majority, I think a lot of brothers uh, have come to the conclusion that they kind of tired. I see my brother uh, Aza on here, Israel of God. You know, they have theirs on whatever day they have it on. I talked to another brother from Israel of Jesus. They have it on that They say, man, listen, we don't know. <laughs> and see, that's the thing. I'm talking to other brothers because I'm reaching out to them saying, hey, man, listen, uh, you know, what's going on, man? Just want to, you know, reach out to you, talk to you. And or if they reach out to me about something going on, you know, within the community doctrinally, we end up getting on all type of conversations and the calendars come up. And then brothers be like, hey, look, man, hey, man, we don't know. We just having it on there. We just honoring the most high. And I, I think uh, I said my brother Oz on. He said, man, I don't care about no day long. We honor the most high. What's going on, Daquan? What's going on with you, bro? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I think brothers have come to consensus like, man, we're not going to allow this to keep us divided because don't nobody know. We just going to honor the most high. We're glad that everybody else is honoring Christ as well. Uh, and the most high as well, because, you know, based on the fees. So, um, uh, so the and, and new people too, <laughs> but bless y'all, man. I'm gonna get ready to get off of here, man. Bless y'all. And, uh, later on, I'm gonna come on later on. Don't forget, listen, I think tomorrow I'm going to have, uh, our sister on here, sister Sharika with Red Rose Naturals. We're going to have her on. Um, uh, y'all definitely want to get some of the product this, this week. Uh, I am highlighting all, uh, business owners, so uh, if you are a business uh, owner or whatnot, I definitely want to give you a time or whatnot and a date to highlight you. But Red Rose will be on here. We're going to be on live uh, and others. So inbox me if you are interested and want to come on the live, uh, you know, for the people to be able to get, you know, get with you and whatnot uh, and just promote. So this week, uh, this week, uh, I'm definitely doing some promotion for brothers and sisters with products and different things of that nature. So I um, just want to be able to show support uh, to brothers and sisters with whatever platform I have. So I uh, love all of y'all with the love of Christ, man. And um, we'll go from there. All right. Shalom to you all.